So earlier we created the assignment, now it's time for us to grade it. You can look right here where it says one done and zero not done. That'll tell you how many of your students have completed the assignment and how many have not. Now in this particular demo class, I only have one student and that's why it's showing a zero on the done part. So I'm gonna go into grade this now and I'll click the done button. On the left hand side here, you'll see all of your students listed. Now again, like I said, I only have one student in this class, so I'm only seeing one. But you would see all of these, all of your students and whether they had finished it or not finished it. Now it's important to note that once a student submits an assignment from Google Drive, they lose editing rights to that assignment. Now you're the editor of the assignment. Once you return it to them, they then become the editor once again. So let me just click on Jane Austen's here. She's finished and this is her reflection and this is why I love using this assignment tool. I can now change my mode up here into suggesting, close this, and anything I do is going to be added as a suggestion, sort of like track changes in Microsoft Word. So I can come over here and add a comment and I can highlight this and delete it and make a change for her. So you can use all of the same track changes features that you normally would in a Word document. I know most professors are probably going to utilize this commenting feature. Now that I'm finished, all I need to do is close this. No saving, nothing. So now that I've added all of my items to this particular class, I'm going to give this student a grade. Now I'm giving her a grade out of what? Right? So up here at the top, before I start grading, I want to make sure that I've given her that this assignment is only worth 50 points. So I'm going to update that. I'm going to give Jane a 10 out of 50 because she didn't do very well. And now that I've done that, the one thing that's really important to note is this private comment area down here at the bottom. This is where you can start a dialogue with the student about this work. So often you take your time to grade these papers and add comments over and over and over again and the students just don't read them. This is a way that you can start this dialogue. So it's not necessarily about putting a comment directly in the paper about a specific item. This is more of a holistic comment. I am noticing that you are making the same mistakes over and over again. Have you thought about going to the writing center? and then post. Well, when the student sees their grade, they'll also see this private comment and then they can write back to you. And this is a way that you can start a dialogue with your students about the process of writing or the process of the assignment and maybe help move it away a little bit from just the grade itself. So now what I've got to do is you'll see that I've given her the grade and I've given her a comment, but it's listed as not returned. That means that the student can't see this grade yet. So what I need to do is return it. And I do that by coming up here to the top and clicking on the return button. Now I've already given Jane a private comment so I don't need to write another one here. But if I had forgotten to do that down here, I could do it right here. And I'll just click return. All right, so now let's take a look at this from Jane's perspective so we can see exactly what it is that she sees. So now I'm in as Jane and I can see the assignment is right here you can see that it says returned up here at the top. So that tells Jane that I have given her feedback. Let's take a look at what it looks like. When Jane clicks open, she'll see her score right here, and here she'll see the comment. Hopefully, what Jane will also do then is write me back. If this is something that you value, I think it's important to let your students know that you would like them to do this and that you would like to have this dialogue opened and then she can click post and now you'll get that private comment back in your area. So that's basically how it looks for the student view. And here it is now. You can see that Jane's received this comment. I didn't realize I needed to go. Can we discuss this further? You can either write her back here or you can go ahead and um, send her a normal email. So that's how you can grade assignments in Google Classroom.